We should be coming on live within a few seconds. There we are. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 8, 2020, and we're doing a live stream on philosophy, open discussion. And let me read you the sort of the <coughs> excuse me let me read you the little write-up we have that i posted when i did the announcement for this live stream um and we've done these philosophy live streams before i think the first one we did was philosophy and pancakes we went into the kitchen and made some pancakes and talked about life right and this is the description basically i wrote down uh, for this stream on our patreon page okay beliefs ideologies dogmas the core structure of our societies is unraveling and that in turn is forcing us to look inward trying to understand who we are as well as outward trying to learn from history and the wisdom shared by those that came before let's talk about who we think we are who we want to be what we'd like to create how we would like society to function and what it really means to be free an enlightened being that understands what it means to be alive let's talk philosophy that's what the live stream is about gina how are you doing bless you as well let me uh pop out the chat here and uh as before we're just gonna chill for uh a few minutes until the notifica notifications go out and see who's joining our live stream and uh, and we can talk about whatever you guys want as soon as you guys want snack that smile snatch that smile back how are you doing <laughs> the emote the frog emotes out what is it esteban esteban is out is it Esteban? Pablo? What's his name? Escobar. Escobar? I can't remember. Man, I'm bad with names. <coughs> but basically, that's what we're up, we're up to today. Okay. Felix, how are you doing? Doing well. Doing well on a Sunday. It's sort of sunny outside. Well, it is sunny outside. Plan on going for a nice long walk after the stream. That's what I've been doing routinely uh, after the stream. As long as the weather's holding up, I go for a nice hour and a half two hour walks and think about the stream and take little notes and listen to listen to music recently on these walks i've been uh towards the end i listened to some uh, a mix that my partner made uh electronic uh sort of a deep house but for most of the walks usually it's almost all the walks i've been listening to some memphis rap triple six mafia phenomenal phenomenal right dark deep heavy uh rap from the 1990s and some from the 2000s as well uh but triple six mafia i i knew a little bit about uh well not a little bit fair bit about uh southern chicano rap uh, with the spm and their their gang the crowd that they created music so i went off on those for a long time uh, but uh triple six mafia hadn't listened to spider-man hello 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 how are you doing i hope uh the other day went well i started going on walks around a local pond really calming really calming felix uh felix the walks are amazing bruce welcome welcome saint just germany hello hello coolio how's it going konnichiwa Chicho san konnochiwa that's Japanese huh <laughs> did I pronounce that right konnochiwa konnochiwa Julio hey Hannah how's life brother I take a walk uh, to the tree I planted oh wow in the green space near my uh, near me regular oh nice thing thing bobber 33 you planted a tree you went in there and put a little sapling in and it grew that's fantastic man headphones with good music good times good times meditation right mental samba hello hello how are you doing welcome to this live stream do you have any thoughts on jesus from a purely philo philosophy point of view purely philosophy point of view um like he was 
he challenged the status quo like he was a rebel right if if a jesus figure came to be right now he would he or she or they would go when they were traveling around trekking around with their followers if they went to any of these mega churches they would tell them they're all sinners <laughs> if they went to wall street he'd do the same thing at the bazaar throw throw stuff around and kick people out um money lenders like he would be pretty much sick based on how our society functions right now hello everyone luna how are you doing bit star how are you welcome welcome good morning sunday morning did everyone change their clock back or forward forward did everyone change their well actually some places don't abide by the change in the clocks i recently gone into late 80s early 90s rap one of my favorite genres of the one yeah felix and if you're into the late 80s early 90s rap check out spm south park mexican phenomenal chicano rap from down uh, uh down texas i believe um hillwood and stuff like this phenomenal and triple six mafia wow 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 konichiwa konichiwa i'm learning japanese on my own for the last three weeks nice konichiwa i guess that means hello halim how are you doing oh open discussion some uh, corona panic <laughs> we've talked a fair bit about it brother a fair bit about it everyone got their toilet paper first baseball game of the year today Chicho. nice hannah philosophical sorry my favorite philosophical quote quote i am because we are i am because we are what are our thoughts chats i am because we are who said that uh, spider-man i love baseball good for you da, da, da. so i requested the stream to mostly discuss philosophical questions but i am very open to uh, getting some book recommendations as well i'll be writing uh, any book recommendations down awesome so gang if you guys have book recommendations regarding philosophy for sure lay it down um i think we could all read use a little bit extra philosophy in our lives instead of the noise that is generated by our societies right martin how are you doing not yet a few more weeks what's that hat martin a few more weeks philosophically should society ban tobacco no and legalize cannabis uh end prohibition on everything everything philosophically speaking we are free, free human beings and there should be no prohibition from centralized institutions on anything as long as you're not going around hurting other people right so self-consumption why 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 should a centralized institution ban self-consumption of anything it's not it's not i think therefore i am i am comes uh before thought thoughts i am comes before thought it's not i think therefore i am i am therefore i think so it's i am therefore i think another philosophical quote with great power there must also come great responsibility jack stanley jack kirby right or sorry it would be stanley steve ditko or probably jack kirby was involved in there too who knows somewhere hey brother good to hear from you miss your content marco panic how are you doing marco panic cia 31 oh my god we got cia here <laughs> panicia marco how are you doing please don't say bad words about the sinless son of god jesus no if if he was real he was a phenomenal human being right what's up my man spider-man says to martin okay i'm gonna read some of the stuff scroll down faster and nominee patria i don't know what that says uh <clears throat> one of my great philosophical quotes is quote if you have a garden and a library you have everything you need hmm? felix garden and a library you also need love 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 is important i have 500 pounds in my wallet my philosophy is what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger i uh, that's one i fully believe in if you've been hit 
hard throughout your life and you're able to pick yourself up, you realize what that means. Okay. Do you know about the ship of thesis paradox? Ah, oh, it rings a bell, but the Theseus. I don't I don't recall. The Brothers Brothers Kazmarov. Very good book. The Brothers Kazmarov. Okay, we need to Coolio. If you're making a list of books, can you after you make this list of books, can you post that list of books in our Discord page? Under heavy heavy books, I guess. That would be fantastic. Is it so uh Halim, is this uh, is this Russian? Dostovsky. Dostovsky. The brothers Kazmarov. It is the African philosophy of Ubuntu. Ubuntu is an idea present in African spirituality that says, quote, I am because we are. Ah. Or we are all connected. We cannot be ourselves without community. Health and faith are always lived out among others. An individual's well being is caught up in the well being of others. Yeah cool i can uh, i can uh, i can appreciate that for sure one of the other i've i read this on a school uh website that i was prepping a student to get into right it was sort of a special school and stuff like this and i'm working with them actually a little bit and the quote that they have and i'm gonna i'm gonna say the quote right and they say it's an african proverb but africa is gigantic right i'm pretty sure the proverbs go all over the place so it could be equivalent to saying a latin american proverb or something and some proverbs go across countries across these regions right the middle eastern proverbs asian proverbs and stuff but the proverb is this the quote is this if you want to go fast go by yourself if you want to go far go together uh, and i think i'm paraphrasing that all free few weeks before the class go forward for you guys for us it went forward today oh so class go forward different times in different places do we exist without thoughts then <clears throat> if you can think you must exist yes simply simply being hey can you please break my bone um no <laughs> I have no desire to break anybody's bones. You don't know whether you are if you don't think. Yeah, I agree. Dante, how you doing? Hey, man, it's Sunday time for relaxation. Nice. What's up? People saying cheers to each other. I'm going to scroll down, scroll down. <clears throat> yeah, I'll post it for sure. Awesome, Coolio. Thank you very much. Got Halim's written down so far. Nice, nice. I have four tubs of creatine in. I'm ready. <laughs> the ship of, okay, so let's read this. The ship of Theseus paradox is essentially if you, pl if you replace a part of a ship with a new part until every part has been replaced, it is the ship. Expanding further, if you take the old parts and build a new ship entirely out of the old parts, which ship is the real ship? Hmm interesting question this relates to human beings by the way our or our cells are what we're made from constantly replenish itself right i think there's uh, i looked at the stuff a long time ago but basically everything in your body has been replaced within seven years right so when you're trying to heal from injury may it be spiritual may it be physical may it be whatever it may be right when you're trying to heal or when you're trying to grow or when you're trying to get stronger when you're trying to learn something new and stuff like this keep in mind that if you mentally you're focused on what needs to be done you're focused on your injury you're focused on your well-being you're focused on a new new thing you want to incorporate into your life if you constantly focus on that and you realize that your molecules within your body are constantly changing and rejuvenating and you keep in mind the food that you consume gives you the minerals the nutrients is basically the building block of your being being your physical being being recreated then you can 
do tremendous things, right? So this links up to sort of the ship of Theseus. Are we the same person after? I forget what the years is. I really, I, I think it's seven years. I think something like that. Within seven years, everything in your body is already changed up, right? So within seven years, are you the, still the same person because every molecule in your body has changed up? I, I don't know. Unless you grow a gigantic beard and stays there, right? Are you the next Alan Watts? I don't think so. I'm a Chicho. Fucking great. It's like saying, was Terrence McKenna, McKenna the new Alan Watts? Was Ram Dass and Alan Watts? I think Ram Dass and Alan Watts were together at the same time. Uh, so I think everybody's their own individual being, right? The gains can't suffer. That's an amazing quote. Yes, it is. It is Russian. Okay, so that is a Russian book. And the history of philosophy is a very important book because it talks through a novel, through a novel. So an imaginary story, which is pretty cool, about the real consequences of Nietzschean revolutionary thought on moral ethics and nihilism. Oh, really? That sounds fantastic, Ali. Our clocks went forward today. Yeah. I was sort of scrambling at this morning. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I was working a little bit. I was like, oh, clocks kicked an hour ahead. What are you? Alive? Everything else is negotiable. <laughs> yes, the paradox is about the ship, but philosophers tie it to people, just like you said. Uh, are we the same person seven years apart when all our cells are essentially new cells? I think so. I think we're the same being because our physical structure here is not who we are. Who we are is the entity that is controlling this thing. Am I my fingers? I experience this life through my fingers, right? I experience gravity acceleration through this body, but our gravity acceleration and time, which is connected to acceleration and gravity it's a byproduct of acceleration and gravity do i even experience time if i wasn't inside this physical body right so i think we are i think we just learn and grow selective chap reading hmm. moving on fucking great well thanks for popping by selective chat reading i wouldn't say that i just scroll down as i go gains must come this paradox is interesting with the subject of teleportation oh yeah very interesting yeah if you teleport yourself which is basically destroying your body and recreating in another place in the exact same way would it really be you or another you if you don't believe in a soul and that everything is rather only materialist then it doesn't matter otherwise it does matter hmm, interesting the best part of a of an outbreak if you can even have a best part of something like that would be would be a break from university <laughs> macro panic uh, possibly the downtime sucks though like if you're down and out for two months trying to recoup from illness is not a good thing is there such things as true objectivity with regards to perception or do we organize particle uh particles in space to suit our perception based on memory good question i think there are absolutes uh truth perspectives right but i think terence mckenna i heard terence mckenna say this that people you know multiple people could be sitting in the same room and the photons entering each person's eyes are different and each person might see something uh something in that room might stand out for them better than the other person and for sure entheogens give you that experience in a big way in a big way descartes tried to disprove his own existence and the only part of him uh, existing that he couldn't disprove was that he was actually thinking hence i think therefore i am huh i'd wager even us being alive is negotiable as the definition of living has changed many times over the years viruses are a good example of being half alive things 
uh, half alive things because they reproduce and even have genetic material and move etc but lack of a few minor life qualities is it life coolio or um uh, what do you call it uh intelligent life right being aware so i think the, the distinction would be if something is alive is it aware that it is alive so for us we're aware that we are alive right does a microbe is that a, just a biological algorithm that has been put in place to run its course is it a sentient being something happened therefore it exists it's funny before the stream i was on a youtube rabbit hole of looking into people with did disassociated personality disorder and it is fascinating and makes me think about our consciousness as subject uh subconsciousness being two separate entities disassociative personality disorder i'm not familiar with it i'm not sure what that what that is uh, i think this relates to abstract reasoning in some way i think words are pointers to things not the things themselves very well said little bang off so a ship to me is not something kind of uh not some kind of essence that lives inside big wooden structured uh const big wooden const constructs that float on the water i think our words are limited to the things that point to ah. and we place restrictions on what an entity is by associating it with the word huh i think that's why the ship paradox exists very cool sleepy waves how you doing by the way little uh bangor bangorf um as as i was reading this it reminded me of uh, richard feynman little uh story that i've heard him say in one of his videos where i'm not sure if he was walking with a son or he was walking with a kid right and the kid asked i'm paraphrasing the story right i'll paraphrase without referencing anything so um, a kid asks a father what a name of a bird was right and the father says i don't know what the name of that bird is and the kid says oh my friend's father knows the names of every bird and the father turns to the kid and says the word that that person knows is the word you call that bird in that specific language in english that bird has different names in different languages right so it's not the word that is important it is what it is what it's as you say pointing to how does that bird feed how does it live does it migrate does it does it have a nest here does it uh, uh what do you call it bond for life or is it roaming like so he went off on a little story like that uh richard feynman had a lot of he was a, he was a phenomenal philosopher by the way almost forgot about the live stream oh no sleepy waves uh it just uh, coolio just questioning of the definition of being alive i'm not the same person i was just uh just 10 years ago our existence is always in flux yeah but there are core essences martin for sure that still exist within you right i'm in home depot buying stuff any recommendations Oof, i don't know they don't have comic books so no <laughs> chicho have you heard of heson rofi uh, no he is a physicist working on creating a perpetual motion machine he's credible because he was responsible for patent the can do nuclear reactor oh really i think there are a lot of people trying to create a perpetual uh, motion machine i don't i've come across some stuff people you know saying oh this is a perpetual motion machine this is a perpetual motion machine, this is a perpetual motion machine and you look down and you peek into it and it's not really so uh i have more uh i don't want to say faith uh i think zero point energy has more credibility than perpetual motion machines i think zero point energy has is more of a viable thing right consciousness is my definition of being alive are plants conscious is a spider is an ant yeah i think alive is 
animated like for me like linguistics uh, words are incredible i wish well not wish but maybe at some point in my life i'll go study linguistics but like animal animated animal animated animals are alive plants are alive as far as i'm concerned fungi are alive are bacteria alive they're alive are they conscious don't know are plants conscious i would say yes really okay being around plants raising plants maybe i'm projecting but plants uh, grow more lush they're healthier in a in a loving environment if there's music if you talk to them right so to me we're all one everything is just one being really right we everything else is just parts of it right so finger hand arm body torso whatever right conscious is my definition of blah, 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 blah. okay i'm gonna scroll down a little bit da, 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 da. i'm gonna skip anything only nouns represent things though how does the ship paradox deal with verbs and adjectives oh english english such a difficult language uh oh i'm gonna read this uh yes uh Alley cat, alley cat. Thanks for bringing that up. However, the degree of control and variability, and dimensions is limited, is limited species to species. Da, da, da. What did alley cat say before? Uh, is a spider. So alley cat was saying, if our spider, our plants conscious, is a spider, is a spider, is an ant. Only nouns represent things, though. How does the ship paradox do with that? Da, 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 da. Okay okay did dissociative uh paradox something uh did used to be called multiple person oh multiple personality disorder that's what it is okay it stems from severe and possibly ongoing trauma at a young age at around age two to six years old our personalities coalesce into one, into who we are but people with did don't experience that and their brain brain segment Seg segments itself into distinct separate uh, alters the alters can have different names genders sexual preferences etc but are but are separated by amnesia from the other alters ah, okay so multiple personality disorder is called disassociative i gotta read that what was it i'm just scrolling up trying to find it disassociative personality disorder so why did he call it I instead of P? Why isn't it called DP? P, DP? D. I guess that's harder. DPD instead of DI, DID. Can you perceive without using the past to paint the present? Perceiving what actually is without labels, judgments, or prejudices. Um, the past is important, I think. If... Uh, if you perceive only without referencing the past then uh, i think there are people who have uh, no short-term memory like they forget everything instantly right i don't think that's a good way of being sentient life is being able to understand self as being separate from other a lot of the animals that we consume as food are actually sentient i agree with that sentient life is being able to understand self as being separate from other that's an interesting definition jenna uh, it's interesting you guys talk about this i have uh, depersonalization and derealization which basically means you feel completely detached from reality and from your body you will have you will have out-of-body experiences which may which made me have existential pa uh, existential panic attacks wow which is also something that people experience with entheogens as well right there's a lot of uh, fear panic associated with it doesn't perpetual motion break the law of thermodynamics it does coolio it does uh, unless uh, so perpetual motion is more problematic in my book anyway zero point energy is not because dark matter and dark energy 
So zero point energy basically says take a cubic meter of space and you can produce an infinite amount of energy from a cubic meter of space, right? I paraphrasing, I read read up on this a long time ago, right? I once saved the spider from my sink. It would die due to the water weight. The spider stopped trying to run while I patted it down with tissue. Was the spider aware of my help by instinct or conscious thinking? Martin, good question. By the way, there, there's a saying in Armenian, we have it. And I think uh, Farsi, Persians have it as well. Uh, I like spiders personally, right? And I never intentionally try to kill a spider in the house. And there's a saying that says, don't kill spiders in your house because it brings bad luck. So if you find the spider, try to capture it and put it outside. Okay. Just a uh, superstition, right? I want to save the spell. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. So what are we talking about? Philosophy, perhaps. But physicists are looking for innovative and redesigned so-called laws. Yeah. And by the way, uh, Coolio and uh, Marco, good point. We don't have to create a uh, perpetual machine. We just have to get closer and closer to it, which is just efficiency. So just imagine creating an efficient system that uses that only loses 1% of energy from its use, right? That'd be amazing. Plants are conscious, but possibly a different form of conscious that we cannot fully understand as humans. I agree, Spider, right? I agree. But they're amazing to be around. Lurky is back. Hello, Lurky is back. Nice. <laughs> Same with an animal yeah that bird story is interesting richard feynman once answered a reporter who asked him quote how do you how do magnets work end quote feynman basically answered him by telling him it's a incredibly complex question but uncovering all the complexities of the things at play and i agree with plants yeah and richard feynman one other thing um he mentioned when reporters and different people ask questions and stuff uh, and this is incredibly important uh, where he said when people ask questions right oh how is how does this work he has to look at the person and this is one thing you do as you know as someone with me when i'm teaching mathematics right when a student of mine asks me you know how does this work how why do we do this i have to really uh, personalize my answer right if i work with the student for a fair bit of time i know what they know and where they are in their learning process right what type of information they have but if a random person comes up to me and says hey how does this work or can you explain this first i have to ask him a few questions to figure out where they are right especially in regards to politics economics and stuff like this when someone i've talked with people regarding politics economics you know i'm just using that as an example because it's very present right um when they ask me oh how does you know why is there a conflict in syria you have to go back and figure out what they know right do they know any of the history do they know the iran iraq war do they understand that syria supported iran and was against the war being fought do they know about the bonds being created there do they know about energy supply pipeline do they know about this stuff if they are unaware of it then you have to start the dialogue you have to prep them build up to it right that comes into play with richard feynman uh, when he was asked you know how does this work he basically stated that in a different way, in a more condensed way than I did. He basically said, before I answer a question, I have to say, well, where do we start, right? People have tried to answer the question, do plants feel pain, which is related to consciousness in some way, because consciousness would uh, need some kind of central nervous system to get information. They are sensitive to some shocks, though, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down, guys. I've missed a lot of chat, so I'm gonna go down to the bottom. Okay, uh, let me just do this. By the way, let me show you what I brought while I scroll down. I apologize. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. This guy here is uh, peanut butter and honey mixed together. I've been eating this a lot for some reason. It's a great snack. 
It's like take peanut butter and I take honey and I mush it around together and it's basically sweet peanut butter. And it's very good. And I sort of munch on this for like I won't eat all this in a day. A couple of days. Two or three days. Sometimes a day. If I got serious munchies going on. Right. I believe the spider was thinking. I really believe that. I think so too. I think animals, all animals think. Insects, everything, everything alive thinks. In my opinion, anyway. And it keeps spiders in the house. They keep the other insects at bay. Yeah. Ali Cat, I love spiders, man. Oh, I missed a lot of good chat, but I, I'm going to scroll down. That way I stay up to the chat. There's a theory that common fears stem from our ancestors uh, experiencing pain and or death from that from that source of fear. Fear of spiders, for example, would stem from an ancestor of yours being bitten and killed by a spider. We share DNA with all of our ancestors. So there is some scientific theories that think it's possible we could have dormant ancestral memories, basically the uh, plot of the Assassin's Creed games. Cool. And Coolio, I agree with that as well. Right? We've seen it in animals. Like when animals are like we're very weak when we're first born. We need taken care of for a number of years, right? You watch a lot of animal shows. A deer has a has a fawn, a kit comes out, you know, the deer eats its placebo placebo, whatever it is, uh, because it's got full of nutrients and helps the little fawn to stand up and within minutes the fawn is running right it's part of survival that's memory i'm on mobile for the first time let's go chicho void how are you doing how's life yeah there's really cool evidence based on uh epigenetics showing that fear is very her hereditary mask of raven hello hello i believe it is possible i would argue cats and dogs think i think all animals think really horses are the, the, the horses are amazing was another physicist i've uh shukobelio lolino was another physicist i've been learning about he seems to be on a way to solving the grandfather paradox what's the grandfather paradox uh is that the time travel one uh marco where if you go back and ch alter is that the grandfather paradox do you know what controls the size of insects hmm. uh, i don't know martin what controls the size of insects i entered the channel as you said i love spiders nice psycho you get uh my f my follow from that alone one of my guidelines is a spider <laughs> nice psycho beat how are you doing i love spiders does that uh, count haha <laughs> spider-man nice that indeed it does pretty sure it's surface area to volume ratio problem grandfather paradox no what oh the insects what controls the size of an insect pretty sure it's surface area to volume ratio problem hmm I hate small spiders, uh, yet my roommate has two tarantulas and I love them. But seeing a small one creeps me out. Oh, I can't avoid. Placenter. Placenter. I don't know what that means, Martin. Don't forget to throw any uh, philosophy book recommendations. Yeah, for sure. Any chat. I'll be writing all of them down and posting them in the Discord uh, after the stream only got one so far okay chicho what's your definition of think oof mask of raven um what's my definition of thinking i guess that definition one of the definition of thinking would be if you're not just living at the moment which goes against the philosophy of many people many philosophies where they say live in the present live at the moment right but if you're only living at the moment so for example if i took a sip of tea i put the tea down and my eye goes away and comes back to the tea 
I would have forgotten that I took a sip of tea and I would continue to take a sip of tea. It's like the chicken, right? If you, From what I've heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but chickens will eat until they die. I, someone can, if you know, if you have chickens, let me know. If you put a, all the food in front of the chickens that they can eat, supposedly they'll eat it until they die. I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, so think for me would be if you can take the past and the future you can live at the moment, but also have a, a handle on the past and have an appreciation for what's coming in the future. If you're not just thinking about instant, instant, instant. Maybe it is indeed the time travel one. That's the par uh, grandfather paradox. Cool. They have no lungs. Insects have no lungs. What thought you on? What thoughts? you have on stoicism i have to uh slayer stoicism stoic stoicism i'm assuming it's supposed to say i forget what that means if you could tell us what it means instead of me looking it up that'd be fantastic i know the word i just can't associate it with what the what the thought process is basic survival instinct for uh for fear anything different and assume danger but hopefully we have the instinct to differentiate between perceived and actual danger yeah which is one of the problems of violent that comes into play in our society people have a hard time distinguishing between perceived fear and actual fear and that's because of propaganda programming social structures education right people fear other cultures because they're told to fear other cultures people fear a certain look because they've been traumatized into fearing that look, right? So Kobayelea Lolino was getting up, uh, experiments with pieces of lead and examining them in different dimensions. Oh, really? What kind of spider? Tarantula. Is it not waste of energy to not actively be contributing to the reduction of suffering on the planet? do you think most people are not taking the times seriously enough and living in uh, microcosms if we all shifted our focus could we not make drastic and necessary changes much faster for sure uh ding uh, 100 uh, if collectively i mean that's the problem right uh, centralized powers have been manipulating our collective for a very long time right wars would be one of the examples the through propaganda through censorship right through education or indoctrination governments have been able to convince masses of people right their citizens to want to go wage wars on behalf of corporations right so they've been using the collective power of our society to do ill right is there examples of collective power of society doing good 100 percent 100 percent the insect size their legs they can only support so much weight if the same principle on why rhinos have stubby thick legs is it alley cat legs det determine the size of an insect um, what do you call it we have those uh daddy long legs spiders in my part of the world and by the way daddy long legs from what i understand their venom is very toxic but they just can't penetrate our skin right so daddy long legs have this little body but their legs are gigantic and orb spiders are gigantic big bodies and their legs are medium size i guess my understanding is that it's actually impossible to not live in the moment if you could live in a different moment you'd be a time traveler mm. uh, rickety um, i think the we don't just live in the moment i think we live in the past present and future at the same time right like who we are is a byproduct of what we experienced in the past what we are doing is a partial result or partial setup of where we want to be in the future we just happen to be in the present doing this right so th that's the way i you know 
sort of brought all the information I've read throughout my life to work together, right? Live in the past, present, and future at the same moment, uh, but make sure you don't just live in one, either the past or the future, right? You have to sort of glue the past and the past and the future together with the present. So the present is sort of the the mortar that binds the two, right? That implies imposing your will on others, who you are. Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm going to scroll down again, gang. Um, Jason White. Anything that's directed towards me, but Chicho, I'll, I'll have a read through it. There's a lot of conversations going on here. That's super cool. Hey, new viewer, follower here. What's the point in forcing users to follow to participate in chat? Do you have to follow to participate in chat? I didn't know that. <laughs> that's a that's a Twitch thing. Uh, isn't that getting more followers than you deserve? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm following you without knowing if I, I'll like your stream or not. I might, sure, but I might not as well. Let users have a choice. Uh, Jason, I don't know. I think this is a Twitch thing. I, it's, it's a default setting, and I just took the default setting. I don't know how else it works. Okay. Do you learn more to uh, lean towards more philosophy or biology for answers to questions about how humans behave? Um, I think it's both, really. Uh, philosophy has a lot to do with it. Indoctrination has a lot to do with it, right? Uh, so, Mr. Poopy, it's a good question. Um, the The kicker is biology definitely plays a part in who we are, what our beliefs are. How we perceive the world right take the extreme case if you're if you're born with some kind of uh, disability i guess right uh, so you're let's assume you have a severed spinal spinal cord and you're in a wheelchair let's assume you didn't get enough oxygen when you were in the womb and you're born with um i forget what it's called it's this horrendous thing right and the people's mind is fully intact they are some of the most brilliant people on the planet but their bodies just they're in pain and they have muscle uh, spasms and stuff like this they do a lot of pool therapy and whatnot right that's gonna affect your perception of the world and our society so biology has a part to play in it right so uh, i think it's not one or the other the book uh, sapiens believes the evolutionary difference between homo sapiens and other animals is our ability to plan for the future and think about the past i wonder if you could test if animals could plan or uh, reflect coolio good question i'm trying to think back on any i've watched a lot of animal documentaries in the past and read on animals and stuff do they think uh i don't know i can't recall anything that really uh focused on that changing their water stresses me out man the spider thing the tarantulas very true da, 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 da. okay i'm going down scrolling down spiders have no lungs that controls their size they don't breathe in the conventional way martin wow so if water is submerged, I'm assuming they must take in oxygen through their shell, right? Is that the way it works? Thought it was the account of oxygen in atmosphere determines why insects are small. This is an interesting question. I've never had thought about this. Quantum. Uh, is it possible because it's their shells? Like human bodies, the bones can only take so much, right? that limits our size i'm an entomologist the size of an insect is due to the oxygen in the air that's why millions of years ago there were huge insects there was about 10 percent more o2 in the air really really quantum Tom. so if you if you breed insects in a create a lab with high oxygen content and you breed insects does that mean 
after a few generations because if there's dna memory and dna and dna decides your thing after a few generations or a few years or a few decades you could have gigantic uh insects like a gigantic daddy long leg that is frightening I love spiders, but a gigantic daddy long leg would freak the living daylights out of me. Time is not made out of lines. It's made out of circles. Hmm. Wow, that's amazing. I live in a very multicultural area. My pub is full of whites, blacks, Asians. Nice. They are so very much the same in a universal environment. Yeah, Martin, that's one thing I've noticed as well. We're all the same. We're all the same. That's the kicker, right? And it, it's not age related either right we're all the same we all desire certain things squirrel squirrels choose where to put their stashes of nuts and even plant fake ones to throw off other squirrels also planting for spring proof enough for me intelligence chicho oh and thinking about the past and the present ah very good ding very good ding bobber chicho where where can i post a picture of my tarantula on your discord um uh, mods where should we put it should we uh, environment how about environment environment is environment uh maybe we should create a new folder how about putting it in general uh bits uh put it in general sharing a picture of your tarantula but maybe we should uh we should post create a folder that says uh animal pictures animal pics or sharing pics sharing pics well that could be dangerous sharing pics uh, yeah and that's not make sharing pics <laughs> who knows what we get right what do you think of fundamental attribution error i don't know a predatory how are you doing uh i don't know what that refers to fundamental attribution error you have to be more specific i'm not sure what that refers to i suddenly see a horror movie i suddenly see a horror movie <laughs> yeah I would love to conduct that experiment man if i had the funds and if oxygen decides it fill 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 a huge room with oxygen and grow some spiders and see where it takes you oh, what is this the ouroboros theory of time cyclic time which is uh, which is in a lot of ancient philosophies and religions goes against the fundamental principle in physics which has never been debunked yet even in quantum mechanics from what i what i know the principle of causality does it the ouroboros theory of time cyclic time which is in a lot of ancient philosophies and religions goes against the fundamental principle in physics which has never been debunked yet even in quantum mechanics from what i know the principle of causality hmm i don't i don't know any i i'm pretty sure i know ex uh, the principle of ca causality i have to read up on it again to really pinpoint it what that means but the cyclic nature of time oh, i would have to follow that up halim uh I, I should be taking notes here but uh hopefully this will come back to me and look into it uh i just googled and apparently there was a study on breeding larger insects using dragonflies raised in an oxygen rich environment oh what happened Julio? oh i know of shukulberry lit up one day i woke up to a spider the size of a baseball mitt on my wall unreal Oof. he was a very intelligent man not sure if he is still alive so this person shukubel oh man that is shukur belli shukur belli lolino was he italian oh i have some good pics for sharing nice waban how are you doing psycho pete quote when you go out into the woods and you look at trees and see all these different trees and some of them are bent and some of them are straight and some of them are evergreens and some of them are whatever and you look at the trees and you al allow it you see why it is the way it is you sort of understand that it didn't get enough light and so it turned that way and you don't get all emotional about it you just allow it 
You appreciate the tree. Cool. Who said that, by the way? Psycho Pete. The minute you get near humans, you lose all that. And you are constantly saying, quote, you are to, to this or I'm to this. The judgment, uh, the judgment mind comes in. And so the I, I practice turning people into trees, which means appreciating them just the way they are. Ha ha, Pete, psycho Pete. They have done it. They have done it, eh? Quantum with the oxygen. By the way, Psycho Pete, this is a Ram Das quote. Nice. I think you will like. Ah, nice. Thanks, Psycho Pete. By the way, since you brought this up, Rush, the band Rush, Canadian band Rush, has a song called Trees, and it is brilliant. It is brilliant. And it's sort of along the same lines as what you quoted here from Ram Das. I'm guessing um, oh, I would have to move to get the albums out to show you the show you the trees and read the lyrics but if you do rush trees and lyrics and it's a beautiful song the oak trees da, 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 it's fantastic very much along this theme what a horror movie or the real science on an insect System of a Down. You look like one of the guys from Chop Suey by, uh, but older. System of a Down. Actually, Serge uh, Tankian is older than me, I think. <laughs> by the way, if you want a System of a Down, uh, just do Chicho, System of a Down. I wrote an article on System of a Down uh, about their music, sort of a review in 2006. And I put out a couple of videos talking about System of a Down. Uh, they have made huge dragonflies that are about 15% larger. It's because insects have lungs that look like tubes. These tubes have trouble transporting oxygen to a higher surface area. Wow. He looks like the Zen master from Kill Bill. <laughs> Don't poison me. I'll pop out your eye if you talk too much. That, uh, what do you call it? When he popped out the eye of the girl. trees don't have higher intelligence free thought choice some people do not make good choices and hurt a lot of others do you accept them as is some people make wrong decisions i made mistakes before right and i disagree with saying that trees don't have higher intelligence they may have a different type of higher intelligence than we do right really I, I don't think us human beings we're too uh, we're too absolute with our knowledge we think we know how something functions but we may not know right that's been proven again and again and again and again and again and again and again throughout history right so our knowledge is limited we just have to be open to different thoughts there's a positive relationship between oxygen and body mass. There are a few simple equations to describe this. You might like it. Cool. If you want, post them. Uh, quant, um, quant, uh, quantum kick. Tom, com, quant, quantum kick. Uh, if you're on our Discord, um, if you can post anything mathematics related in our math folder regarding this, that'd be fantastic. Or science. Science would be great, actually. Oh, awesome. I give the song a listen. Oh, Psycho P, you'll love it. It's, it's, it, it's about trees complaining about other trees taking the light because they're big about the oak trees and they get together. It's phenomenal, really. Uh, Neil Peart's lyrics were absolutely brilliant. Thank you for that information. Yeah, I heard the no lungs somewhere. Now I understand correct, which is why I come here. Awesome. Sharing of information here is amazing. Psycho Pete, are you Armenian? Indeed, uh, you look like it. As the other user pointed out, your similarity to Serge, yeah. <laughs> uh, Armenian ancestry, right? Born in Iran, uh, most of my life, West Coast Canada. So my essence is, my philosophy is very much influenced by Pacific Northwest mentality. Uh, and of course, Armenian ancestry and Iranian history born there and stuff. 
and food and drink and all that jazz. What are you drinking? I thought kombucha or honey tea looks weird. It's uh, tea sweetened with honey. We just got a new batch of honey, by the way. I'll, I'm going to uh, take pics and show you guys. But there's going to be no jarring honey video this time. We couldn't get the big buckets. So they only they only had jars available. The the bees got hit with uh, the colony collapse disorder. And a lot of bees have been taken out. So honey supply is a lot lower and it costs us way more to get the honey. Weren't you uh, going to do an ASMR cover of Chop Suey? I, I was, it's still there, right? I haven't got around to it. I haven't got around to doing lyrics of, uh, once we go a little bit lighter, just because just present day life stuff has been coming up, right? We, I spent a fair bit of time focusing on the COVID-19 coronavirus, looking at the data and stuff like this. So I started putting out some videos there, and doing a few other things. But I wouldn't mind. I actually looked it up. Someone else did a, a some more version of Chop Suey. I looked at it. It was okay. It was pretty good, actually. So some kind of ASMR version of a system with down song would be good. I don't know if Chop Suey would be it. Maybe it's something else. If you send me a reminder again, I'll uh, I'll slowly make it up the queue right okay i'm scrolling down a little bit gang sending this again because it got lost in the comments laugh a lot cyclic time doesn't break causality necessarily but it implies that present choices not only affect present and future but the past as well okay let me read that again cyclic time doesn't break causality necessarily but it it implies that present choices not only affect present and future but the past as well huh so your choices now affect the past interesting hi everyone hello dolphin how are you doing parev parev psycho pete each says love him two says <laughs> now that now i have lord of rings two tower on my mind <laughs> Is there a link to the discord not the biggest tech guy yeah hold on if we do discord that should have popped out our discord uh, link oh someone already did it. oh nightbot did it cool talking trees who have business with escart <laughs> Wobin. if you understand that people are a sum of their parts though and some of those parts are their choices aren't you connecting further with them i think as long as you remain factual with your rationality and avoid possibly inaccurate generalizations judgment can be very useful to you or anyone and i also don't think you can avoid doing it but you can do it well and improve your uh, execution yeah i agree with wobin i mean we need to generalize generalization is a self-preservation mechanism that has evolved into our core being right we it's part of staying alive it's part of evolution that's what generalization is we just have to make sure we don't generalize ourselves into irrelevance right generalization is f is fine and then it's like the fight or flight instinct that we have but we have to keep it in check that's my personal take on it what are the main characteristics of the pacific northwest mentality um one of them it's got the highest concentration of magic mushrooms in the world so there is a huge entheogen influence in the pacific northwest huge um more so than i think a lot of other parts in the, uh, parts of the world so there's a there's a psychedelic feel here sorry chicho i've been in and out on chat no worries spider-man everything's going pretty good everyone's having a pretty good time i think so far right i believe so anyway i hope so anyway I was walking down the street with a f uh, first to my and nature by the way nature is a huge part of the pacific northwest we live in a temperate rainforest here 
right so it's a rainforest lots of nature lots and lots of nature lots of water uh, there is lots of in in season lots of local fruits and vegetables that you can eat there aren't very many animals predatory animals there is um uh, what's it called the uh, recluse spider here that we have that's very poisonous but as long as you're not going to the attic and putting your hand into the into unknown places you're you're okay they don't come out they don't walk around it's not like australia um uh, and the only other two main one of them is the bears black bears and grizzlies grizzlies more dangerous but they don't come down south this much uh, there are black bears which are basically harmless if you leave them alone right and don't get between the black bear and the the mother and the cubs right the only main predator we have here that sometimes attacks humans is um the cougar right uh aside from that it's one of the most safest places that's i'm just going off on the pacific northwest safest places to be if you want to explore nature go swimming in the ocean go swimming in the lake go for hikes and layer on top of that with the entheogens uh, you get a feel for what's going on and one other thing we have here is the uh, indigenous population uh, indigenous communities are very structured here so there's a huge very prevalent and very important indigenous uh, cultural feel that connects people to nature right so there's a lot of people here that are very much connected with our surrounding area okay uh, they have a sense of being uh, not owners of land but caretakers of land right they have there's a certain mentality here that says we are transient through this this earth so take care of the earth because it will be here much longer than we will right I was walking down the street with a first to my left and a uh, first to my left and a busy road to my right um, i thought about how organic is infinitely comp has how organic is infinitely complex where as what we have created as humans is very cut and dry in comparison for example every tree is unique but all spoons are basically the same we need to appreciate nature more as we come from it and we are it get your monkey butts back to nature ding agreed with you there and uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't say all spoons are the same a lot of there's minor differences between the spoons right everybody has a has uh, their own favorite spoon or favorite cup that they drink from and stuff right i once saw an asmr cover of the entire do little album by the pixies really <laughs> crazy oh forest that's what you meant first with a forest to my left okay cool i think cloud atlas now really cloud atlas no yeah da, 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 da. okay i'm gonna scroll down really some people are confusing but no us chichoyans adding cloud atlas to that list cloud atlas uh i've never read it i know uh neil pert rush uh, 2112 was sort of uh, after he read that uh, it was sort of influenced by that and later on neil pert said cloud atlas was something he read when he was young and influenced him but it doesn't really affect him anymore um it's it's something that a lot of uh hardcore capitalists use to justify capitalism libertarians some libertarians use to justify libertarianism uh some people use to justify uh whatever so people take it in a gazillion different ways i've never read it it's brilliant some people find it confusing but not us chichoyans cloud atlas yeah so martin you say cloud atlas brilliant worth reading yeah i don't believe in coincidences generalizations are basically patterns only being backwards can someone think that recognizing good patterns can't be useful but worse is harmful yeah i generalize big time by the way you probably noticed <laughs> also pete says psycho pete also you can train the mind to avoid judgment i highly recommend marshall rosenberg's book 
nonviolent communication. It provides some amazing insight on how language has been developed to create patterns of thought that lead to disconnect, judgment being one of them. Really, that's cool. Coolio, I hope you got it. The past affects the future and the future mirrors the past. Cool. He also provides uh, a model to participate practice to help train your mind to avoid judgment as well as identify when uh, when others are using language on this of the sort it is a phenomenal tool for connecting really Pete thank you for the book recommendation by the way uh, contemporary philosophers uh, Bill Hicks Terence McKenna Robert Anton Wilson these are three people that I've mentioned before I don't know if you call them contemporary because they're all they're all dead now right uh, but those are three people that have affected my philosophy my outlook on life in a big way right isn't that basically like trying to fake your own empathy for others Wabin asks no it's recognizing how language is a tool that presents genuine empathy for others hmm interesting coolio uh, Chicho what do you think about God in a strictly philosophical sense in other words what is the essence of God to you for a non-religious stand from a non-religious standpoint I think uh, I think we are part of God I think we are God I think we control our own destiny I think we this animated being that we occupy this this matter that we are occupying it is exactly that we are we are in control of this machine right and we have a certain amount of time to experience this existence from there I don't know where we go I don't know where we've come from and I don't care okay to a certain degree right I know that my existence here is for a purpose my purpose I have sort of stumbled upon by being open to experiencing life in different ways and through circumstances and being knocked around with life right and having to either learn and grow or wither away and die right so there's a lot to it it's not necessarily I don't care about where I've come from and where I'm going I've reconciled reconciled is that what you the word, right word to use it I've sort of throughout my life I've gone through you know obviously I'm most likely older than most of you here some maybe <laughs> but uh, I'm younger than Serge Tankian so I've sort of figured out for myself how I want to exist interact with life here as long as I'm here uh, and that's good enough for me right as Neil Peart would say that's life enough for me right that's life enough for me right mind you there was a lot of conflict until I reach this point right both internal and external conflict right and how to use the tool to connect genuinely once you realize how it is used that's regarding the uh, the way of thinking yeah I get what you mean different people use a language with different intentions and it doesn't uh, always click the way they want yeah are the indigenous people Inuit no not Inuit Inuit is further up north uh, they're native uh, give the book a read it is some amazing insights and it is very easy to digest completely logical okay nice man my favorite cup broke oh no too much use oh no wobbin this is no spoon this is a, I'm gonna look into that Japanese glue type deal oh you want to glue it back together that's how much you loved it <laughs> okay I'm scrolling down gang I missed a lot of chat my apologies but I'm gonna scroll down to a place where I can see a chicho and I'm gonna address that uh, Ida to Chihila how old were you when you first adopted this principle of thinking how old was I I don't know if there was an exact moment uh, well no there was an exact moment um, it would have been 20 years ago okay it would have been at the turn of the century 2000 2001 2002 2003 during those three-year periods and the catalyst that got me to that state of being into 
into really bringing everything together that I had learned that I had all the experiences knowledge that I accumulated up to that point so 20 years ago would have been 30 right so in my early 30s all of those experiences that I had ex that I'd gone through in my life during that three year period really came together and the catalyst that brought everything together were entheogens not that it was my first time experiencing entheogens but specifically I started experimenting with salvia divinorum and that really brought it all together okay uh, only Moz and Chicho can post links to this chat uh, but feel free to post uh, some on Discord. Yeah. Uh, thanks for mentioning that, Coolio. Hello, sir. Hello, Ghost Doggy. How are you doing? We're just live. One. We. J we're just one God until we live up. L V I L. I don't know what L V L stands. Live, live, live like one God until we live up and get the buff. <laughs> let's have a what's your age call up yeah what's your age people coolio says 251 i take more uh cynical view of religion that was supposed to be a exclamation point haha -ha. i'm 25 oh you're 25 not 125 thanks chicho i have a fun time listening to your responses responses to it man have a great day peace peace thing hope you have a fantastic sunday 46 chicho have five years on me i believe yep 51 right on i'm your elder you must listen to me <laughs> was your life affected by a lot by 9 11. um was my life affected affected a lot by 9 11. Uh, i think everyone's lives was affected a lot by 9 11. um it it i don't think my life was affected as as much as most people by 9 11 because i was aware politically what was going on in the world my life was affected by 9 11 for one reason okay uh duh. should we even share this info damn okay i'll just mention this uh, should i mention let me read some more comments we'll just pass along from it right <laughs> entheogens have provided me with some profound insights and healing i'm happy to hear you have found value in them as well for sure psycho pete 100 level up 22 years nice have you ever combined cannabis and magic i think most people have or like okay let me rephrase uh many people in my neck of the woods have for sure i am 32 20 38 27 awesome <laughs> yes elder chicho <laughs> chicho says read your comic books i have done psilocybin mushrooms three times before but they only had a profound effect once after that experience and reading the book how to change your mind by michelle Pollan, i've gotten very interested in trying some other entheogens some point in the future cool 9 11 ruined my birthday oh martin are you september 11th no really you're a very wise elder thanks thanks for the trust spider-man i ask uh i ask i like asking the right questions Wobin says <laughs> same bro on the 20 on the uh, 12th oh no september 12th oh no Wobin, your question same bro that sounded kind of rude i'm not saying you're older i swear no doesn't make a difference man really there's a saying in armenian that says um maziret siptiki okay it means i hope your your hair will turn white it means may you live to be a ripe old age healthy ripe ripe old age right so getting older 
one thing i initially everybody initially when you're getting older you're like oh i'm getting older you get aches and pains and stuff like this you can't do some of the things you used to do you think twice about doing some of the things you used to do but then as you get older you realize man i'm older this is phenomenal you know more you apply it better you 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 filter out the noise in your life you you've tasted enough crap to realize you don't want to sample crap anymore you just want to sample exquisite things from now on right you improve your life as you get older really appreciate that don't focus on what you are losing focus on what you are gaining and getting older becomes more and more brilliant okay just from someone who's not you know i've i haven't even passed i haven't hit the 52 yet that makes you uh an elder based on the mayan calendar the long count right so i'm not even 52 yet and that's what i've learned so far i'm looking forward to seeing what comes in the future right i've recently found uh found myself reading a lot of uh, philosophy on overthinking uh, about how our modern society operates it can sometimes get really depressing because i also find myself thinking about a lot of rubbish yeah it, and that's a that's a pitfall of waking up right once you realize that our society is completely absurd it can be depressing at first but then you realize what our society isn't what the mainstream is pushing on everyone it's the other stuff can you guys hear, hear the mandolin Our neighbors are playing mandolin. What's with the beer choice? I don't know. What do you mean? Auto dying. Yes, sadly, 11 September 1973. Oh no, same day as the chili. I was about to say that. It's the chili. Martin, damn, what a day to pick to be born during major revolutions. Hopefully, you know, three times is not the charm, right? Hopefully you don't we don't get a major other event happening. Hopefully. An amazing event happens on the next important September 11th right I'm 25 and it's been one year since I stopped thinking that I learned everything and was always right I wasn't learning anything new anything new thought of myself as a better human than other people gosh I was toxic void brilliant discovery when you were 25 I didn't discover this until my like I said 30s early 30s right i was arrogant enough to think i knew a lot and i was super smart and stuff and then i realized man i don't know nothing right or i don't know anything nothing that was a double negative right i would, i i realized that there's no way i could understand everything that's that's really what was the revolution re, sort of that not revelation not revolution revelation that really made me appreciate what's happening was that we're constantly going to be hopefully learning until until we take our last breath because there's absolutely no way we can understand everything and get to the end of the road right just live in the moment appreciate what we have and what we're learning how we're experiencing look forward to the future and learn from the past that to me is the essence of life really I'm September 22nd, so if 9 11 had happened a few weeks later, I'd be in trouble. Coolio. Atu. Multkachu. I don't know what that is. Wow, that's awesome, Spider Man says. Doop. Uh, I don't think I've, I'm always right, and it's probably better to think you're wrong at first every time. But after a while, I tend to go with the assumption that my general instinct in a topic is correct otherwise how can i live with such an enormous ego yeah for sure in, in self-preservation instinct for sure but when it comes to an understanding how certain events have unfolded certain truths that we may know then we have to question that then i've caught major physicists math like scientists that say this oh we know this it's like no this as a model that we have of how this thing works and as far as we know this model is correct based on all the assumptions we have and what we're looking for there might be stuff that we don't know 
that are there that we haven't even began to think about right it's the 100th monkey uh philosophy experiment i put out a little video uh, if you do a search search for chicho and 100th monkey there's an experiment with the monkeys and stuff like this i just i gave it a different a different perspective on it to a certain degree uh, to that thing so uh, the biggest sign of maturity is having a continuous growth growth mindset it's sort of a new phenomenon though because a lot of the older generations not all thankfully tend to think they are they are done learning at a certain point pursuit of knowledge is a long life lifelong activity 100 percent coolio well said i would love to have a discussion over a cup of tea with you one day chicho i think that's what we're doing right now psycho pete it feels like i have met a relative that i never realized i had also <laughs> the pleasure to meet you psycho pete we can hear it nice and they sing I was burned on the Pearl Harbor date. Pearl Harbor, July? Was it July? No, it wasn't July. When was it? I forget the date of Pearl Harbor. I'm experiencing the getting old thing already with 28. Been working on uh, the hose and garden since 14. The house and garden since 14. The wood chopping and gardening already brings back pain. Oh, hey, ho, Chicho. Yeah. Beer bare face man how are you doing bare face man working in the house and gardening and chopping wood <laughs> the lumberjack life the more you learn the more you realize how little you know that's the perfect quote right talk about events that change the fate of history usa entering world war ii yeah. i'm 20 and I got really stoned one day and came to a real awakening on how much rubbish my generation holds to such a high value and really devalue certain principles that make us better people. Honestly, I do think I have some of that arrogance you guys were talking about, uh, about peers. Uh, for sure, we all do. All youth, all youth does. Like, really, it's, it's part of our indoctrination, our, our education system right that's what they breathe into us right they force a jam down our throats and we come out thinking that way right and one of the reasons they're doing it is because they want to take advantage of youth right how many 40 plus year olds do you know would sign away their life to go wage war somewhere across the ocean right how many 18 year olds would do the same huge number discrepancy right just imagine the United States, you can't drink until you're 21, but you can go join a war when you're 18. The absurdity of it all, right? Would you ever consider doing a Chicho fan meetup one day? Uh, for sure, Coolio. I feel like the discussion we have, uh, we could have in person would be amazing indeed. Or you could see fist fights everywhere and mobs going out, burning down the city. Your plant is reaching out. To read a book indeed indeed i rotate this thing when i'm doing the live stream you it's facing the other way usually i do a ro little rotation i like this thing so it's part of our live streams right now it's a pretty good birthday date here summer is here everyone is going off to the beach for vacation nice i'm a grad student and the great thing i learned in science is that we know very little and are all grasping at straws or everyone is feeling an elephant in the dark and everyone only has a little bit of information hopefully one day we can turn oops turn on the lights and see the elephant hopefully that's what i hope as well aha it's getting closer every day I laugh a lot i probably avoid a chicho in real life <laughs> meetup i can imagine the smoke coming out of that room though <laughs> nice we'd fill up on fruit liquors and delicious food yeah maybe we do a barbecue right i'm trying to figure out which one it is going for i don't know why. i love your look thanks barry carter that's my 
permanent look. What is your plant's favorite philosophy, Chicho? What is my plant's favorite philosophy? Um, my plant's favorite philosophy. What's it reaching for? That's all medical stuff. What's this one reaching for? Let's see this one. Chomsky reader. <laughs> well, it's basically going for Guru Lesher Bach, time in the technosphere, Chomsky reader. It is actually pointing towards a lot of philosophy books. <laughs> uh, Chicho, I try to block out as much rubbish from social media. What principles should someone be focusing on as a, as a at a twenty at twenty years old? Um, chiha, can I call you Chiha? To Chiha, to Chiha. It then. Tachiha, Tachiha. I would say avoid getting into rants uh, online with social media, either on Twitter or, or any of the other uh, things. The the hate, you know, the the banter. Avoid that. Start creating original content if you're into that consume original content not mashups to a certain degree well mashups are okay right but hit up the sources of content that you're consuming right so if people are talking about how bad this article is read that article if people are talking about how good this article is read that article right hit up the original sources of content don't go through a filter of people deciphering information for you that is one of the biggest problems we face in our society because people don't look at the source material they look at the filtered material and the filtered material might be losing a huge part of its core thesis right so for example in physics we have maxwell's equations there's like five equations i believe there's five equations of maxwell's equations that talk about electromagnetic and magnetic methods they're very useful everybody uses them however maxwell didn't just come up with five equations maxwell i believe had 20 equations and those 20 equations are condensed down to five now if you want to understand how the world works around us beyond more than just using maxwell's equations to do calculations for instruments if you want to have a philosophical idea of what makes the world go around right you have to look at those original equations because those original equations have parts in them which the five maxwell equations that people use have people have cut out because they say oh they're not really relevant or if you round things off they don't come into play but they do come into play if you want to know understand existence right so go to the source material and stop watching corporate news corporate propaganda it's not news corporate propaganda right stop watching anything coming out of corporate propaganda that includes the bbc the C cnn cbc and all this stuff right 90 99 percent of it cut out right the people they bring the pundits they bring to discuss things they're usually paid hacks okay so cut out mainstream corporate propaganda blind from homemade booze first at the meetup we would eat some pomegranate seeds then do some math then read some comic book sounds like a great meetup spider-man you're a professor not a grad student right uh who's this uh barry carter for me i'm not i'm not a professor or a grad student i think a discussion discussion evening over discord voice chat might be nice how many people can you get on discord voice is going for the medical textbooks to avoid plant coronavirus focus on financing and learning how to utilize your money to make money being smart with your wealth um uh, uh being smart with your funds yes i agree be smart with your funds i wouldn't say learn how to utilize your money to make more money i disagree with that i would say figure out what the places are where you want to invest right that hopefully puts you in the forefront right if you if you want to learn about something some kind of system take the time take the money 
and learn that system i would however say build up a buffer make sure you have enough funds available to you where if you wanted to take off for two years and reevaluate your life you could not have to work and earn an income and read books and grow right and then you deplete your reserves and then you have to build up your reserves so it's very cyclic so here's here's one one bit of advice look at life as a cyclic function you have your ups you have your downs when you're up make sure you still think about the down times right so you build a buffer when you're down don't get completely totally depressed and give up on life because the high times are coming right life is cyclic okay really appreciate that life is cyclic be wise with your money as well of course right um psycho pete says i recommend you learn to get in tune with your true and higher self meditation ex exercise eating healthy and all great habits to focus on um, integrating this i 100 percent agree with eat healthier right stay physical stay active right read books right don't just read sound bites read books right read essays watch lectures educate yourself learn mathematics like once you come out of high school in canada united states your education just begins okay consider high school to be jail you just got out of jail you've been let loose into the world how do you want to interact with it All right build enough funds to make sure you you don't have to be a slave to go to work every day to get that paycheck every two weeks to be able to function okay there are times when that's the case right you might deplete your reserves when you're young especially where you have to go back to work no matter what right is that time in the text was jose Arguelles. indeed it is time in the technosphere an important book this was a very important book i read i don't agree with everything in it okay really i don't agree with everything in it especially in regards to the structure of the earth and whatnot but i did take notes in this like i did take notes in this and one thing this book did for me okay and this is this is one of the most important things about reading philosophy right most philosophies most texts even robert anton wilson's text terence mckenna's text a lot of books tell you it's not enough just to read a philosophy you have to actually do the experiments do the exercises which the philosophical books tell you about right so through time uh time in the technosphere one major thing i got at that i got out of this book right and i've mentioned this before in the book it talks about how we measure time about the gregorian calendar the 12 month calendar and about the 12 hour the 24 hour clock and i won't get into the details of it but one thing that jose arguelles time in the technosphere said he basically said remove all physical clocks the 12 hour clock from your line of sight right only check the time when you need to know what time it is so don't have anything in your living space that through the periphery it constantly tells you what time it is because what that does that eliminates your natural instinct to know what time it is right your human clock right so as soon as you remove those clocks your internal clock kicks in right and all of a sudden your sense of anxiety I, I don't want to say completely disappears but it reduces dramatically right you no longer feel like you're in a rush to do things you're no longer under the clock right so one exercise that i would that i have done one of the exercises of a few that i've done in my life one exercise that i've done and it's still part of my life i don't have any physical clocks in my living space that tell me constantly what time it is the only time that i need to know what time it is that is visible is in the kitchen on the 
when I'm cooking things, because when you're cooking, when you're making pastries or baking something or whatever it is, right, you need to know what time it is. And that's the only place. And anytime I want to know what time it is, I either check the computer clock, right? I scroll down, it pops up, or I go to the thing. So remove physical clocks. And it, it was weird, right? It took me a little bit of time to adjust. But once you adjust it, all of a sudden, my internal clock kicked in. It was just like, wow, incredible anxiety of whatever anxiety I was feeling when I was under the clock sort of disappeared over time, right? Important. I sort of went off on that, so I missed a lot of chat, so I'm going to come down to the chat again. Oh, man, there's a lot here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, if you won't start making children, you're probably going to... Okay, I'm going to allow this some... A comment got held back Wobin. our apologies the thing kicks it in okay I'm scrolling all the way down gang okay just because I missed a few comments I missed a lot there's no way I would catch up uh, nice catch by the way you saw the Jose Arguel as time and attack in the technosphere or I mentioned it actually so I guess me EP1729 hey Chicho I'm an undergraduate student doing math and physics. Nice. My work takes up a lot of my time, I can imagine, and it can be very draining at times. I can imagine. Do you have any advice on how to balance work and life? Uh, for me, go for walks, take breaks. Uh, for me, when I was doing math and physics, I was doing um, undergraduate. I was basically doing the same thing you did. I did geophysics and mathematics, right? Um, geophysics major, math minor. But... Uh, a few things I did I made sure I had solo time by myself not just studying but I I would go to movies by myself like really back in the day this was in the late 1980s early 1990s I would you know we barely had console games at home right so I would go to the arcade by myself I would go to the arcade and just chill at the arcade I started serious comic book collecting during that period okay so Pick up a hobby that is totally disconnected from physics and math, right? So you need some kind of stimulation other than physics and math in your life, okay? You need some kind of passion uh, that is disconnected from physics and mathematics. Uh, for me, it was comic books, movies. I read sci-fi books, right? I didn't have a TV for the first couple of years. I was I got into hardcore math and physics studying, right? Uh, so I read a lot of books, went to the arcade, went to the movies, went for walks, played sports. I joined a soccer team. I did some jujitsu, so sports and stuff like this. Uh, I could recommend that, right? Um, and... You know there was some interaction with other students as well uh, for the first couple of years though i pretty much stayed solo i had you know i had plenty of friends when i was in high school and i was i just wanted to be alone in large part and learn and grow and that's what i ended up doing i hope that's helpful what do you think about the matrix theory um what about it the matrix theory that we live in a matrix simulation or it doesn't necessarily have to be a simulation i guess i mean could you create a ser servile person that isn't sentient just to avoid the moral dilemma isn't uh, sci-fi books have those for organ transplantation growing clones and stuff have you read the whole library uh whole all of this no some of these are my partner's books the medical stuff uh, but i've read a lot of this and this isn't all my whole library i got books in other places too uh, but no i i'm like people like you guys you you might have the perception that i'm a very well 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 read person in regards to books uh i've read some books but as far as i'm concerned i'm not an extremely well read person in regards in regards to books i've read a lot of articles over the years like in in-depth articles and essays so i've read way more like seriously in-depth articles essays analyses on things right 
and I've read my fair share of books. A lot of these are comic books. This whole row is comic books, by the way, graphic novels, and they're amazing to read. Highly recommend some of the most philosophical, important, scientific uh, books that you will ever read in your life that probably contain more accurate history than a lot of history books out there, right? So graphic novels are legitimate uh, books, and I've read a lot of those, a lot of those, right? I remember our case. I remember the Atari 2006, uh, 2600. Yeah, me too. Yes, but what if you extended their abilities without uh, extending their existence? Da, 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 da. I'm going to scroll down, see if there's anything. Jiu-Jitsu changed my life. It sounds cliche, but it's true. Yeah, it's important. Very important. Certain disciplines are extremely important. Unfortunately, my work revolves around what times my theaters get out so I can clean them. That does sound really cool. Yeah, Spider-Man, if you're doing work, for sure, you need to. When I did geophysics, I, I was under the clock, right? You need, you need to know what time it is. But in your living space, eliminate the clock, right? Work is different than living, right? Can I just express my appreciation for the fact that you mentioned your extra books like a pen i got books in other places i got i'm gonna allow that <laughs> didn't mean for it to come out that way but it did okay i had to allow that by the way conversation i'm just scrolling down gang there's a lot of conversation being discussed between people. Peanut butter and honey. And it's very strong, by the way, this thing. Very good. You can add little chocolate chips in there and you got chocolate chip peanut butter cookie or squishy stuff. Barry says, I believe we do live in a matrix. We live in a matrix. If you accept quantum mechanics and that things that things only exist when observed. Yeah, possibly. But is this your complete existence, Barry? Or is this a ride? Right? Is your existence at this moment this thing that you are? Or is this you manipulating this, right? If this is you manipulating this, then you can think of it as a, as a game that you're in, right? But that doesn't take away from the game, right? Enjoy the game. Don't think about the person controlling or the entity controlling this. Just live this, right? What do I think of gaming? I think gaming is amazing. <laughs> What's there to think about? <laughs> I've recommended, but you can't. Uh, get a lot of people I know a lot of people that are addicted to gaming. So it's not gaming is amazing. Addiction is bad, right? If you sacrifice everything for gaming, you're addicted to gaming. Stop it. There are many amazing things to do in life. Why would you sacrifice all other amazing things in life to do just this one thing in life? That's destructive, not a good thing, All right? And Coolio says, I've recommended this game on Chicho's Discord several times, but due to my discussion with Barry, I will highly recommend this game. The Talos Principle, again, goes deeply into the theme, themes we were just discussing. Awesome. And by the way, Coolio, keep on bringing it up, right? Uh, if it's an amazing game you love, for sure recommend it again. At some point, I got to get back into gaming, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to play. Actually, I do. I want to play some old school games again. It's never that simple. In my living space, good idea. In your living space, Spider Man, for sure. Remove all visible clocks. All right? Glad I saw this on my recommended. Seems like an interesting place to hang out. Well, oh, glad to have you. Death to tyrants. Yes. We're having some sort of library, and all, all I can say is that I won't pick up the ladder to grab the top ones, and I read three of them. 
I couldn't make sense out of that sentence. My entire existence exists only in my mind. But in only in your mind? So Barry Carter, is your central nervous system part of your existence? Like you have spinal fluid going all the way down your spine that goes all the way to your brain again, connecting up your brain and you, it's transmitting information. So if you only exist here, what about the rest of you? Right? That is connected to your mind. Right? So you can't just only exist in your mind. The only human being that I know of that you could say shared as much information as you could that would be Stephen Hawkins, all right? So Stephen Hawkins, I would say, was one of the there, there are others of course, but he was one of the people that was wheelchair bound disconnected from the physical to a certain degree and lived in his mind and was able to come up with the principle of hawking radiation and whatnot right so i don't think uh, it's accurate to say we only live in our minds that's i think that's inaccurate our bodies are a part of us right what would you advise to a child or a teen when he his or her father goes off uh, off stream like towards another woman and goes off does a man with an ego come back to his family? Um, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, so a parent abandoning the family? Is that uh, what you mean? Hail? So hail. So hail Lou. 213. I think we all, you know, here's the one thing about being a parent. When people decide to be a parent, some people, a lot of people become a parent accidentally. But as far as I'm concerned, if you choose to become a parent, you're taking on the responsibility to take care of and raise an intelligent, well-balanced human being, right? So if you abandon your, your responsibilities, um, that does say something about you. And unfortunately, there's sort of effects associated with that, right? That people that you abandon are going to be hurt and they're going to be they might have to go through some turmoil until they can figure out what life is about for them what would i say to them i don't know what i would say to them really i don't know i think it really depends on the person there's a lot of evidence pointing towards this reality being a simulation of sorts that's not to take away the importance of the physical realm as it is linked to the realms outside it yeah Pete, Psycho Pete, I agree with you. A lot of people have come up and said, oh, this is just a simulation and stuff like that. I go, this isn't just a simulation. Even if it is a simulation, go for the ride, play the game, right? The matrix theory could be interpreted as multiple dimensions as well. We perceive our dimensions with our senses and our consciousness, but what aspect of our realities or dimensions are we missing out on because of the limitations of our senses? Good question, Coolio. And here's one thing that hasn't come up during the stream yet, the dream realm, right? If we take an average, you're supposed to, let's say you're supposed to sleep eight hours a day, right? Some people can function on four or five. Some people need nine or 10, right? But let's assume on average eight hours a day, a third of our lives is spent dreaming i'm not sure how much of that is rem um the deep dream state right uh so eight hours of our lives third eight hours a day a third of our lives is spent in the dream realm let's say two hours of that or three hours of that is spent in the dream realm that is real right just because it's dreaming it doesn't mean it's not real that is a part of who we are how we interact with the world it helps us to problem solve it helps us to heal it is some would argue the most important aspect of our lives right so just because it's in the dreaming it doesn't mean it's not real it is real right so dreaming should be a part of our any conversation when we're talking about philosophy existence and life as well i just wanted to throw that out there sorry if i'm not sure if it's related to what coolio said it just came up while i was reading coolio's comment what do you think about uh, god and or other saints there are great people in the world uh are right now and have been throughout history um i don't believe in centralized 
religious institutions. They are all corrupt. Uh, as far as God goes, there's multiple definitions of God. Or maybe every choice we or anyone makes takes us to other parallel universes. Could be. I like the parallel universe theory. I like the membrane theory, to tell the truth. Welcome. I have a question from someone who hold someone wholly uneducated in philosophy high school failure uh so bear me uh, bear with me uh just because you dropped out of high school it doesn't mean you're uneducated in philosophy you're here talking philosophy that is philosophy i have hyper focused my entire life on thinking over acting but would you agree that eventually there comes a point where knowing too much essentially bogs you down and slows disables you from acting when preoccupied with the thinking first always uh i think i butchered reading that comment but uh lotus i agree with you this is the same principle i've talked to people about uh in the past i think it's come up before it's like reading a lot being very informed about things that is a black hole if you're not also sharing the information right so basically hoarding is ridiculous is stupid is detrimental okay it'll destroy your life may it be hoarding material objects or may it be hoarding information may it be hoarding money may it be hoarding anything right even thinking too much is hoarding if you're not sharing so the way you complete the loop right complete the connection it's not you know it's not a sign of being a wise person being a smart person if you know a lot if you're not sharing if you're taking in information you have to also be sharing information right because the way it is right now people think hoarding is a great thing like even with wealth people become really wealthy and what they do is they try to close the door on competition coming up because they want to acquire more wealth make it harder for people to reach their level right i think that's a flawed system that is one of the main flaws in our current political economic system the system that should really exist is we should be helping others along when we learn something pass on the info because once you become a node that is the essence of the internet by the way once you become once you become a node a free flowing node where all of a sudden may it be finances may it be information may it be experiences this is stuff is flowing through you then you're going to be exposed to a lot more than just becoming a node that just consumes consumes at some point you're going to explode right Tao's principles ap appears to be non-free. Otherwise, I'd do it. No. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. Oh, my God. There's so much chat. I have totally missed up on a lot of chat. Sorry, gang. I'm going down. Okay, I scrolled all the way down, gang. If there's anything directed towards me, please let me know. Uh, me, me, EP. Chicho. I think there is there are theories about dreaming as the right hemisphere passing on information to the left stuff that we sense throughout the day but which do not make it to our conscious awareness is it could be i've looked into the dreaming a fair bit especially in regards to experimenting with entheogens is a huge the dreaming dreaming is a huge part of it right interpreting i've woken up many times with a solution to a problem I had I would wake up I had notepads beside me I write down notes even a lot of the videos that I've created over the years we have 800 plus videos on YouTube right and slowly we'll load all those on BitChute as well right and we have I don't know a couple of hundred on nah, not a couple of hundred maybe I don't know I don't know how many we got on BitChute right but all those videos I've been creating for the last 13 years some of those videos came about when I woke up from a dream realizing how I want to present the mathematical concept or some other con type of concept and I would get up and I would lay down the work on my notepads right or write about it in on the computer a lot of the articles I wrote I would wake up in the middle of the night with a sentence paragraph that I wanted in there right so the dreaming is ridiculously important ridiculously important 
yeah that sort of culture really doesn't stand to scrutiny with today's society's logic and standards wabin says yo 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 Rithius, how are you doing i am a firm believer that uh da, 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 that it's only a matter of time until that whole thing dies down it's it's a process i'm missing the conversation so religion is definitely on the decline but spirituality on the rise right what use is a god that doesn't care about us i don't think there is a god a a being the optimal word there a god mm, no true i meant the air my big god okay fun are you aware of the uh hypo hy hypno jogic state hypno jogic hypno jigic jujic state the altered state you enter prior to falling asleep yeah many great minds would set up systems so they could keep entirely that state to get insights or creative ideas uh psycho pete yes uh I, I don't consider myself a great mind i'm i'm a happy mind right but i've done that exact thing that you're mentioning which is called the hypnogogic state right it's like waking dreams you enter a waking dream state to a certain degree and you function within that state if that's what we're talking about uh, just before you complete it sometimes sometimes it's a waking dream and you're functioning you're doing things sometimes it's before you go into REM sleep sometimes it's right after you come out of REM sleep you can you can you can uh, definitely uh, be on that boundary maintain that boundary for an extended period of time taco operator hi guys long time no see taco you change your name is this the taco we had before i almost died this year in the icu and i just faded to black oh wow it was peaceful but i don't think there's anything spiritual out there why out there you are a spiritual spiritual being i am anyway that's why i look at myself how much we do smoke a day how are you guys doing taco doing good I don't believe in God, but I believe in thinking energy for lack of better definition. That's a good way of thinking about it, Martin. Chicho, have you read any books on the philosophy of the role of suffering in life uh, or why it exists? Uh, suffering, yeah, C.S. Lewis, um, pain. He had a book. Uh, I don't have it anymore. Uh, I got rid of it. Uh, oh, mere, mere Christianity. Uh, talks about a little this is a good book as well with c.s lewis mere christianity uh and he has a chapter i think this is the chapter in pain or i think i read one of his books on pain uh and it was an important book to me in the universe no this is in the book but c.s lewis is the author that i've read the most of right uh, but there is a uh, there is a book that he wrote regarding pain and suffering uh, and pretty much uh, it, it was a good book it was a good book i don't really care to take conversations towards the topic of god though there's no point to me yeah i agree with wabin right i have never felt it and i don't see evidence of it anywhere i felt it before but that was flawed logic right but organized religion is 100 percent of the manifestation of those feelings people have outwardly yeah organized religion no bad yes basically that stream of consciousness you enter before you slip off into sleep yeah the arabic god is the most unlikely character of all i don't know do you ascribe to a collective consciousness to a certain degree yes i believe that all great ideas are pulled so to speak from this sort of collective consciousness that has the experiences of all humanity it's one of the few sort of non-scientific views i hold but then again what is science coolio i agree with you and i believe in the collective uh 
collective conscious, a collective collective knowledge, right? That's why I think copyright laws and patent laws are so detrimental detrimental to our societies and our to our to our well being and innovation, right? Because it's all collective, right? It's all collective. Everything was a remix of something else in large part. Okay. You can extend that state for sure. It's one of my favorite altered states. Yeah. Amazing altered state, Pete. Amazing. Da, da, da. Yes, I'm taco operator. You're taco operator. I changed my name for people to see it easier. Oh, really? I didn't mind taco operator before. The double dash. Turning people into sacks of flour for looking back at their homes and families being destroyed. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, crazy. Some people connect that up with historical events. Some people say it was actually a nuclear explosion that went off. And when the people look back, they got hit by the, by the wave. They went blind and died, right? So you can connect that up. I sent my CV to a comic book. I hope they accept me. It's like a dream job. Oh, really? He's sent to a comic book store. Yeah, that'd be great. Talk to Spider Man. He's uh, uh, not Spider Man. Um, Vex. Vex, uh, one of the people that comes here, and he's he's one of the first people uh, uh, that uh, you know uh, was here when I came on Twitch. Uh, he's been live streaming on Twitch. He does gaming. Uh, he works in a comic book store. He managed a comic book store in New York. My dream job is a oxymoron. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna scroll down, gang. One last question before I bounce for a while. How do you stop yourself from starting to feel disgust, hatred towards the ignorant? For example, the racist morons dragging rest of the UK, kicking and screaming backwards in time with stuff like Brexit. Excuse my blatantly biased language. Also, your uh, cad cadence is v soothing very soothing <laughs> thanks uh lotus just to let you know straight up i was pro brexit okay and it has nothing to do with being racist ignorant or anything like this it has to do with decentralization so you can't put everyone that is pro brexit and um i don't have skin in the game i live in canada right you guys are in the uk so take whatever my thoughts are with huge gigantic grain of grain of salt right um, but just don't categorize people that it's like saying all everyone who's a Christian is an idiot you can't do that right everyone who's Muslim is this everyone who's this is this everyone everyone who who voted for Brexit is not a racist ignorant person maybe they felt the pain of the centralization of power right and you would okay so you can't group everyone together that way as for your legit question right how do you stop yourself from feeling uh, starting to feel disgust hatred towards the ignorant disgust is a legitimate thing to uh, to feel okay i everybody has that i have that in my surroundings as well where i come across people that are completely ignorant uh uneducated regarding certain topics that they support with their heart and soul such as war right i've come across people that are pro-war and i look at them i just complete disgust but i don't hate them i feel sorry for them because they're completely uninformed and when they're uninformed and they support war i don't consider them to be really alive anymore because they're they've been duped into thinking that killing people across the ocean is a good way of being right so i feel disgust but I don't feel hatred towards them. I feel, I feel sorry for them. That's one way you turn hatred into sorrow. Turn because when you feel sorry for someone, you have more empathy towards them, right? So you have to feel empathetic towards them. Feeling disgust by their actions, that's a legitimate feeling as far as I'm concerned, right? I'm disgusted by those who want to wage war, right? Oh, uptime. We're already up past two hours. Wow, wow, wow thanks for that martin gang i think uh we're gonna call the stream sorry if i missed a lot of chat there was a lot of stuff going on uh, a lot of discussion but we'll call the stream on this one okay 
um, this is all well and good but I don't know how to recon reconcile this with the fact that people are now starving under a conservative right-wing government so is it a conservative right-wing government does at fault or people's choices like it, there's a lot of stuff going on citizens are being uh, deported and our economy is being stripped for parts and sold to the highest bidder and that's taking place everywhere lotus i'm at i'm at like for example in alberta canada the the government there they didn't plan ahead like it's one of the most corrupt governments in that i know of i lived in alberta as well right it's all about oil and sands and giving subsidies oil and sand gas industries and looting the coffers of the of the province right they're putting parks up for sale right they've cut back health care they're closing hospitals why are they doing this because of mismanagement because of corruption right so it's centralization power which is the main enemy it's not people's beliefs in in how they want to live right i'm as much as the foaming at the mouth anarchist as the next guy but i'll take the centralization under a regime i don't trust to thousands of innocents dying for no good reason i wouldn't take centralization of power it's the centralization of power that took the uk to iraq afghanistan libya syria like it's centralized power that sent citizens of the uk to go die in foreign lands right and to kill in foreign lands no corrupt centralized power is one of the most destructive forces out there okay awesome stream awesome stream fun stream gang thank you for the conversations thank you for the discussion thank you for the recommendations i'd like to go to one of those christian rallies where the priest goes near your face and yells God is willing you and rubs your head. And I would just say, I only felt the Satan inside me. I need to party. <laughs> it's cider time. Cider time. It's walk time for me, gang. Uh, okay, guys. Thank you for the stream. Coolio, thank you for the recommendation for us, suggestion for us to do a philosophy stream. It was fantastic. I think it was a great discussion to be had. Martin. Uh, Dante spider-man thank you for taking care of, care of uh, business uh, thank you for the follows gang thank you for the subs I didn't wasn't able to catch everything I was trying to stay up with the chat and going off on rants and stuff like this uh, and thank you for the participation uh, what we'll do is um, we'll do another stream uh, next weekend two streams on the weekend most likely and once uh, next week kicks in um, most likely we're going to do streams on a more regular basis i'm going to be on uh, sort of spring break from my students most of my students there's a few students i'm going to work with so i'll try to schedule in a few more streams and during that spring break comic book readings coming up okay i've already shot one of the videos i gotta shoot the other three we're going to do i'm going to try to edit them and upload the comic book streams as well plus some other stuff okay two hours each enough enough it is enough gang uh, I learned a lot and everyone had great insights. I have a decent list of books and media recommendations I will post on Discord. Awesome. Thank you very much, Coolio. Have a great Sunday, everyone. We'll talk on the next stream. Bye for now.